Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. In this video, I bring to you a story concerning Adesua Itomi Wellington. Yes, I will be telling you some things concerning Adesua Itomi that some of you do not know of her personal life, growing up, career journey, her childbirth, among other things. She was born in Imo State uh, on the 2nd of February. Now, the thing is concerning Adesua's exact year of birth i don't know it a lot of people do not know it there's a sort of controversy surrounding it she some people say she was born in 1986 some says it's 1990 1988 so i'm just going to say she was born between 1995 and 1990 or 1989 just pick, <laughs> just pick whichever one works for you but she's around 35 36 years old so i really just Pick whichever age works for you. I why best knows when she was born. A birth certificate will tell, will tell that best. But, I mean, let's just continue talking about Adesua Itomi. She was born to a Yoruba mother and an Edo father. So, yes, she's part Yoruba and part Edo. She is the last of three children. She has two older siblings, a boy and a girl. She grew up in Lagos, Nigeria for her primary and secondary education before she moved to the United Kingdom. She has a diploma in arts from the University of Wolverhampton and she stayed in the UK for a long time before she returned to Nigeria around 2013-2014 to pursue a career in Nollywood. Before then, while she was in the UK, she acted in some, you know, movies she acted in a few movies in the uk like jesus christ superstar among others then in 2013 was when she started properly in the nigerian movie industry i mean english movie industry she joined nollywood and her debut role was with blossom chukujeko she played the role of debbie blossom chukujeko's wife in the movie knocking on evan's door and that movie literally matched basically at this way it so means to the heart of a lot of nigerians and she's then and since then she's been doing well for herself the sky is basically at this way starting point because she has won several awards including an african magic viewers choice awards for best actress she has won other awards internationally and you know in nigeria here in africa she has featured in several magazines in fact in 2016 um vote worldwide magazine actually featured her on their cover alongside other international talents in the entertainment world which is quite big because she's the first nigerian to be featured in a vogue magazine um not just that she is actually an independent actress so to say that is to that is to mean she's not a part of any theater organization you know all of those groups that you know actors have the actors guild of nigeria etc etc Adesua Itomi is not a member of any and she's just doing her things in her own way. In fact, she describes herself as the president of the Simple Girls Association of Nigeria. Basically because she's not one person for a lot of, you know, uh, flamboyancy. She's very simple. She would rather appear in a corn roll than, you know, wear the wig. She'd rather have a style made to fit her body than, you know, appear all glamorous among other things um, she's a minimalist just to put it like that and she's really proud of that and just trying to make it seem like simple does not necessarily mean basic it does not mean you know mediocre that's just what adeswa is trying to show to the world in 2017 november of 2017 something happened <laughs> bad 17 upon banky and i this got married that is bankoli wellington who is known as banky w a nigerian singer now turned entrepreneur politician still a singer though got married in 2017 it was a talk of the town it was a big affair they held their white wedding in south africa actually it was sponsored in south africa and it is witnessed by a lot of their friends colleagues and family members it was a beautiful affair actually and um their relationship actually started in the dms for those of you that ignore your instagram dms yes it is said that banky w you know shot is short in uh, adesua's dm and he had the, you know the relationship and it was quite low-key in fact when both of them featured in the movie the wedding party in 2017 people did not know that something was going to be going on between them because according to adesua when they were shooting the wedding party uh, according to banky rather when they were shooting the wedding party adesua was yet to become his girlfriend he was still shaking at that point but she cannot deny the chemistry that both of them had in the movie the wedding party 
party and of course the sequel of the wedding party you know that it gave us wedding party two was also really beautiful the chemistry between dunia and doze you cannot deny that chemistry and this is this i mean this, this is one of the movies that adiswa has featured in and she has delivered she delivers exceptionally well all the time she's also done some other action movies like muna among others um she is said to be worth several millions of dollars about 1.2 million dollars there about I, i'm not certain now but that is the estimate that is on the internet that says she is both now the journey of herself and um, banky w's marriage has not been quite rosy because shortly after their marriage banky w was diagnosed with skin cancer she had to be there for him you know he went through surgery he's fine now thank goodness he's doing well for himself and we've not heard any news that maybe something had happened to him since then he's fine then they had you know infertility issues in 2017 that they got married they didn't welcome a child until 2021 in february of 2021 um Adesua announced that finally god has answered our prayers and she welcomed baby zaya both of them are not shy to talk about their fertility journey you know they had several ivf um, ivf procedures done it was even said that they had to at a point evacuate uh swas you know inside this was quite quite um disturbing for the family not to now make mention of societal pressure you know people saying a lot of things i just want even say some person told that to her face that she probably used her womb for something this was a trying time for the wellingtons but we are grateful to god we are all happy that baby zaya is here i just saw it to me is also a phenomenal singer i just saw i released a, a song not so long ago and <laughs> so natural before then she has also released a few singles she's acted as a husband's muse in some of his music videos they've made music together both of them are now pastors or preachers ministers in their church and it's the politics are just giving us a lovely lovely loving loving moment you know they give us a bad experience in 20 um uh, in on, on the 14th of february valentine's day of 2022 bad experience not like bad experience you know the bank and at this uh, experience i mean love affair and all that it's just beautiful watching this union grow and i think they are one of the couples in nigeria that if they should announce that they are breaking up people would actually wonder why and have a lot of things to say but we hope they stay together for the longest time anyways guys um i'm going to be stopping here concerning adesa but before then let me mention that she won five awards alone in 2015 which is amazing <laughs> I just had to put that there. I just have to put that there. And if you're wondering, yes, I'm a fan of Adesua Itomi. They cannot tell already. Anyways, let me know in the comment section what Adesua Itomi movie is your favorite movie. She has some projects in the works now that is not even released that she's done um, done with several producers in the industry. But I'm not getting to that. Let me know which other movie that she has done, I mean, that we have seen is your favorite. And let me know if you actually enjoy a simple lifestyle that she is uh, preaching now on social media. I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for watching this one and bye.